Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now guys, sorry for the, the noise in the background. There's a few roadworks going on outside the house, but hopefully you'll be able to be able to hear me in the video. Today, I'm in the polytunnel and I have our beautiful Slumbergia Buckleyi in an absolute abundance of blooms. Look at that guys. Packed, packed, packed with blooms. And this Slumbergia, we have in a hanging basket, hanging off the off the roof of the polytunnel here and it has been in bud and it's actually been in flower for weeks and weeks just before Christmas and it is now um, third week in February and it is blooming lovely guys look at that look how many blooms absolutely beautiful and I did do a video on this a few weeks ago when it first came into bloom because it was very pretty but I have to say it looks far better now because there's more blooms so I've done another little this is a bit of an update video on it and it is absolutely breathtaking, I have to say. And this is the true Christmas cactus. Um, the reason being it has the scalloped edges around it rather than the serragated um, crab type of claw leaves that is commonly seen in the truncata version, um, which is more often sold as the Thanksgiving cactus. But they're all sort of all put under Christmas cactus these days. And um, this one is usually a bit more of a later flowering one than the, than the Slumberda truncata, which usually flowers from the October to the December. This one, it's not unusual to get this flowering even in March. And as I say, it, it is sort of middle of February now and it's still flowering, even though it's known as the Christmas cactus. It's kept cooler here in our polytunnel, so it stays in flower a lot longer. And um, just absolutely beautiful. We have two different varieties actually in here. These are cuttings that were gifted to us from our friend Shane Walsh, um, who lives here in Ireland also, in um, beautiful Killarney. So Shane, you'll see how your beautiful cuttings are doing now. And do go over and subscribe to Shane's channel also. He has some amazing cacti and succulents on there. And these, it's lovely to see the cuttings do so well. And this is actually one from a plant I had originally before for quite a while. And um, again, flowers look very, very similar. Believe it or not, I don't know whether it shows on camera, the flowers on this side of the Slumbergera, um, they said there's two different types here. This one was my original one I've got in the hanging basket with the other ones. It is, they're slightly paler pink. And the one that Shane Walsh gave us has got deeper pink colours but they might look pretty similar on camera but they are different colors and the leaves are also wider on my the one I had it's got wider leaves um, with a surrogated edges so again two different types of Slumbergia buckley eyes all in the hanging basket together but it's just blooming lovely isn't it guys and isn't it just so wonderful to know that spring is really just around the corner thank goodness <laughs> so guys I hope you enjoyed the beauty and I want to send you, and again, apologies for the noise, roadworks going on outside, but I couldn't wait um, and do it again because it's been roadworks all week. So, guys, I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, oh, the seagulls, and tons and tons of flower power.